This is Greetland Lady. Greetland is a village in uh, West Yorkshire, so I assume she's named after that particular part of the UK. She's a 50-foot traditional style narrowboat built by John White and fitted out by Hilux in 1998. 50 feet long, she was last blacked in May 2021. That was epoxy two-pack. The paint works in reasonable condition. She's got a nice amount of space on her, to be honest, for a 50-foot boat. And I lived on a 50-foot boat for eight years, so it can be done. Even with me on board, we're still married. She's got a brand new engine in her. There's only 42 hours on the clock. She used to have a BMC, but she's now got a Bauer Shire 39 horsepower. Cratch cover over the well deck. A gas bottles are in the forward locker there, 213 kilos. The cratch board is glazed. The well deck itself is four feet four inches long. Bench seat across the front. That's quite practical actually. You don't see many of those. A little bit of storage in there. Got glazed front doors. It's quite a nice light boat actually. Obviously helps having glazed front doors. There's a cat flap down there. And then we go. The saloon is 12 feet 8 inches long. Laminate floor. Head height on the boat is 6 foot 3. There's a huge sofa bed there on the right hand side of the screen. That's a TV DVD combo. That's on a pull out bracket thing so you can adjust the angles. There's a washing machine under there. That's a full size washing machine. It's a Hoover. Hoover Dynamic Next, seven kilos if you like your washing machine details. That is a sofa bed. There's a chest of three drawers next to it. And there's a solid fuel stove in here as well. It's a Boatman's. And you see the stereo there. That's a Kenwood CD radio. There's a cupboard underneath it. and storage under these steps. It's good space in this room. Here's the stove with one of those um, eco fans, I think they call them on the top. They're very good actually. Spreads the heat around in the middle of winter, which is coming. On into the galley, seven feet long. It's quite roomy in here. That's a Valor New Review 4 burner gas hob oven and grill. There's a cupboard up here. She's fitted out, by the way, in pine tongue and groove to the ceilings, this boat, and oak face ply to the cabin sides. And then below the gunnels, it's carpet through the boat. That's a microwave oven. Drawers under here. And a couple of good sized cupboards. That there's a bifold door just comes back. There we go, plenty of space in there to squirrel things away. And here's the fridge, there is an ice box in there as well. It's all the utilities you need, really. On we go, there's a corridor. Down the starboard side here, there's a side hatch with a roof hatch over. Some steps there if you need to get out that way. And the bathroom, there's a sliding door for the bathroom. It's a Thetford cassette loo. There's a bath there, the shower's over that with a glass door. There is an extractor light over that as well, a light and extractor fan. Nice ceramic basin. And there's a cupboard under there. Nice feather duster. And there's a little vanity cupboard up here. <laughs> Billy doing very well to avoid himself in the mirror there. And we go into the bedroom. Nine feet long. The bed itself measures six foot three by four foot wide. The storage underneath that, lots of it. A couple of reading lights over the head end here and there's a cupboard there. A 
There you go. <clears throat> Easy access as well, the storage under here. Nice boat pole on the floor of the bedroom there. I like the boat pole in the bedroom. And then there's a good sized wardrobe here with some shelves above it. There's plenty of space for clothes and things. Nice cosy feel to this boat, I think. On into the rear cabin. This is the engine room. As I say, brand new this engine. 42 hours on it, nice and shiny. Bowershire 39. PRM gearbox. The bank of batteries is on the starboard side of the engine room. There's three domestics, 110 amp hours. They give you domestic 12 volts. And there is one starter battery as well, which is actually under the rear hatch on the back deck. There's the inverter and the battery charger. The inverter is a Spark 1500 watt pure sine wave inverter, and it's a ring, um, a ring smart charge 16, the battery charger. And that's the view from the helm. There's a galvanic isolator on board. I've counted 18 230 volt sockets. I might have missed some, but there's plenty of those for your 230 appliances. Most of the lighting is halogen. Hot water on the board is in, on the boat is heated by the engine, or there is an immersion heater for when you're hooked up to the landline. And I can't remember if I mentioned the water tank. It's 680 litres, so that's quite a good size uh, water tank. And there is a survey from January 17 of uh, 2017 available in the office for viewing as well. So there we go, Greetland Lady, cosy boat. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure, the spec and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.